So in terms of the questions that we're hearing most from clients, as I said before, I think it does depend on the client, but all of our clients have made some form of operational change. And that has, in almost every circumstance, impacted their risk profile and their insurance program. So if you look at the clients we've got, um, we've got some that have got key worker status and they're managing really quite serious health and safety concerns whilst also keeping their business operational. And if you imagine that for clients who are in maybe healthcare, uh, food, supply chain, they're actually facing higher levels of demand spikes that they've not seen ever before. Um, almost all of our clients are managing some form of change to remote working, either of all the workforce or partial. And um, many clients are changing their business activities to support the COVID-19 response. And then, of course, the vast majority of clients have seen, regrettably, dramatic drops in volumes and revenues, and they've had to take the really difficult decision to stop business, close sites, take bits off the road, and, and furlough staff. So all of these clients have made those decisions uh, in very tight time scales and under incredible pressure. And they've been looking for our support to sort of be their advocate and help them understand what it means from a risk and insurance perspective. So initially, we've had questions about policy coverage. What is covered? What isn't covered? And then questions because they want to ensure continuity of insurance. So we've been getting questions about travel and business interruption insurance, uh, risk assessment for key workers, um, what will be covered by employers' liability, questions about unoccupied premises, uh, inspection queries, all, all that sort of operational tilt. Um, but then for those majority of businesses that are unfortunately seeing such a large hit to their revenues, they're asking for help in cost reduction and cash flow management. So we're helping them to understand exactly what their options are. We're negotiating, I'm sorry, negotiating with underwriters on their behalf and we're helping them look at different funding solutions. But then I guess all the clients have really responded to that initial crisis. They've got their staff at home, at closed site. And now they're looking beyond crisis to continue to recovery. And we're getting questions about you know, what happens next. And we're helping to understand what the future issues might be. The future issues created by COVID-19, which could be the impact of capacity and pricing in the insurance market. But equally, it's helping the board to understand what the potential is in the future for claims in employee liability, public liability, employee practice liability, and directed offices.